the foothills at Kulserola. You can see how the progressive urbanization of the cities modifies the landscape from the highest spots of this route. Industrial cities, worker cities, cities of the present and of the future, of knowledge, of technology, of business. This transformation can be seen especially from the Finestrellas viewpoint. This route goes downwards from the foothills at Corcerola and the path to Finestrellas, right where the city begins to merge with nature. The neighborhood of La Merce was the first building work carried out by Obra Sindical de Logar in Barcelona. That was in 1945, time in which Falange registered their property of the land. With the beginning of democracy, this area was one of the first urban elements to eliminate its Francoist name. It took the name of the patroness of Barcelona to remark its bonding with the city. The walk goes on up to Tower School, FAD Award in 1974, and clear example of the influence of Californian schools in the early 1950s. Schools without classrooms, designed as a large open space or square. If you walk into Cervantes Park, you will come across a great show. It's magnificent Rosera, a garden with more than 10,000 rose bushes, exhibits 220 varieties of roses, including the Rose of Barcelona, a white grayish flower. You can also see one of the sculptures by the renowned Valencian artist Andreu Alfaro. Stop at Palau de Congresos de Catalunya, Congress Center, a pragmatic building with a rationalist base, which was awarded with the National Prize for Architecture in 2001. It was designed by Ferrate and Cartagena, the same team of architects who designed the adjacent hotel Rey Juan Carlos I, which holds a spectacular hall. In this location there was the ancient Torre Melina, an old, probably medieval homestead, which disappeared and whose exuberant gardens have been preserved. We finish this route visiting Can Regal Park, one of the newest green areas of the city, designed to meet the sustainability and energy efficiency criteria, which make it a unique building. Its native vegetation and the colorful pergolas in its central walk ensure a unique experience. It's a must.